Alina says Bill's an undercover lover. His life is like top secret and I have no clearance. So we found her a blind date who cared enough to share. We talked about sex, we talked about everything. Things she's done, things I've done. Meanwhile, Bill was debriefed by his blind date. I learned everything from where he grew up, why he's into computers, about his dog. Hey. Now wait a minute. That? Will this guy stop acting like a spy? I don't know nothing about him. Or will they have a change of heart? What? change of heart. Let's meet our couple. Now, three and a half months ago, they met in Vegas. His friends were checking out her friends, but this guy was reluctant to join the mating game, so she tested Lady Luck by making the first move. Well, they took a gamble, went on a date, and each other's numbers have been coming up ever since, so please welcome Bill Johns and Alina Lamana. <laughs> welcome to the show, and Bill, tell me what made you want to roll the dice and go out with Alina. I like the fact that she was uh, aggressive with me. She came up to me and basically made the first moves. And I thought she was, <laughs> she was, uh, she's sexy. She's got dark hair, got an exotic look. So All right, well, that's good. Now, Alina, he likes your aggressive side. What side of Bill do you like? Uh, I like his romantic side. I think he's really romantic. And especially for the first time when we went out, he um, surprised me at his house with a candlelight dinner, and I thought it was nice. Very nice. Now, Alina, romance at home, that's really nice. What about when he takes you out? The only place we go is straight to his bed. Okay. That's it? <laughs> you don't go out. Not to. That is not to. I take her out. She no, just never wants to come over. Every time I call her, she no, thinks it's just for going to no, bed. So she just doesn't. Just booty calls. Yeah, yeah, so she thinks. No. So she just doesn't come over. He doesn't want to plan anything. I want to go dancing. I want to go clubbing. That's all she wants to do is go to the club. No, it's she, that's not. That's all she wants to do now, is go to the club. Now, uh, Alina, is it planning or is it money? What do you think it is? I think it's cheap. I think it's cheap. You're saying he's yeah. cheap? He doesn't want to spend the money on you? Yep. No, I am not cheap. Yes, I spend a lot of money. No, no, Bill. a lot of money. Now, wait a minute. Bill, let me go back to the, the whole bed thing. She says you only take her to bed. How are things there? Well, she doesn't put out, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't get any sense. No, so. I don't put out because you're not good in bed. That's what that I'm saying. That is not true. When we're in bed, you stay there for a long wait, time. Wait, now, let so. me get the... Oh, Alina, your opinion. What's the problem? My problem is... Is that he <laughs> doesn't? He doesn't. He doesn't want to talk. He doesn't want to have conversations. All he wants to do is have sex. That's it. <laughs> like, bam, bam. <laughs> no, that is not true. Though I do like to talk. I talk all the time. But she just, like I said, she just doesn't come over. She doesn't want to come. That's not true. That's not the not right kind of talk, I guess. Now, Bill, what about this fact that she wants to go to a nightclub? It's important to her. Why don't you just take her out? Oh, she's just a big whiny nag. She just I don't whines know. and complains all the time. I complain. Yeah. She don't take that's me out. That's all she out. does. Complain because I complain because doesn't want to take me out. That's she just. That's all she does. Yeah, whiny. but if you're taking her out, maybe she wouldn't complain. There's a if reason why she wouldn't why complain, complain. Maybe I'd take her out. Oh. <laughs> all right, Alina. He says you act like a nag. How does Bill act? He acts so gay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no. Yes, you do. You take, I am not yes, gay. Yes, you do. You take two hours to get I ready. I do when not. Yes, you do. You it, take two hours to get ready. No, it takes me only an hour. You? I just like the way no. I look. I like to. All right, wait. Dress it takes you longer eyes. to get ready. What else? He is constantly with his friends, 24/7. He's always with his cousin. Okay. I don't even know if he likes girls anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we like we like going out together. I like being with the guys. I'm a guy. Yeah, but you're always with them, always, constantly. So it makes you a little suspicious, I guess. Exactly. I don't know. Now you've been together for three and a half months. How much do you really know about the guy? His life is like top secret and I have no clearance. I don't know nothing about him. Nothing. Oh, he won't give me the chance to get to know him. Now why is that? He won't give me the chance to get to know him. It's I don't even know what your favorite color is. I don't well, know what's your, your favorite movie. I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I don't talk to you because I don't trust you. Oh, you think that's the whole issue there? The trust factor. That's not it. We don't talk about anything, okay? You don't want to share anything with me. The only thing is to talk about like movies or something. Well, all you want to do is go out. You never want to sit around and now, talk. But, but Bill, while on we're on the subject of trust, why don't you feel that you can open up to her? Um, well, she lies about everything. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. Well, since lie. point one, the first time she ever came over, first time we ever sat around and talked, she made up a great story. It took about 45 minutes to tell me all this crap that was exactly the opposite oh. of what no. I told her. Then not, turned it around was, and told me that no. she was lying about all of it. That was a joke. I like to joke with them. That's she a long does joke, 45 minutes. Time. She does it all the time. Every time. So that makes you a little shaky. Yeah. Now, what <laughs> truth do you want to discover by coming on the show today? Well, I haven't dated anyone in uh, like a year or so. We've dated like three and a half months. We're just fighting a little too much for it. So I want to figure out whether it's me that's causing the problems or whether it's just her BS that's... Uh... <laughs> that's getting in the way a little bit. All right, that's what we're going to find out. Next, though, we're going to find out why Alina's date says that 15 minutes alone with him in the car made her a really happy woman. Stay tuned for that. Bill, now, 
Alina complains that Bill only likes to stay in, and he's as tight-lipped about his life as Heidi Fleiss is about her clients. Oh. So we found her a guy who prefers to go out and says, like a gossip columnist, he tells all. So give it up for Adam Kennedy. Yeah. Impressive. Adam, what's up with the roses? Well, when I went to pick her up, uh, I brought her a long stem rose. And right. She seemed so excited about that rose. I was kicking myself for not getting her a whole dozen, and I just, oh. I just had to finish it off. So you brought the other 11. Oh, yeah. Now, Alina, did he knock you out when he knocked on your door? Definitely. I opened the door, and good looking, beautiful eyes. <laughs> I'm great body, great body. Yeah, but you're gay, so. <laughs> you look pretty gay yourself. Do I look gay now? Come on, Adam, be honest. Did it take you two hours to get ready? I don't know. No? Nah. A couple minutes? Like 15 minutes? Got nothing to get 15, ready 15, 20 for. minutes. Oh! That's because I look good without getting ready. Now, Alina, how about you? Were you the only one that was impressed with Adam? Actually, no. My mom wanted to meet him because, you know, she didn't want to go out with strangers. So right. she totally <laughs> loved him, okay? When she met him, she thought yeah. I'd be so much better. Oh, that really? Not true. Yeah. Your yes, mom disowned That is not true. Your mom oh, liked me, too. Sorry about that. Your mom has a good opinion, too. Now, Adam, what, we heard that a Bill never takes Alina anywhere. What do you think his problem is? I think he just wants to keep her home and keep her home for sex. I mean... Yeah. Keep her locked up. She's, Nothing wrong with that. She's so beautiful. I would, I would take her out and want to show her off everywhere. Yeah. He needs arm jewelry. He needs something pretty on his arm to show off. A little arm candy. And this is pretty enough. Now, Alina, what about the date? Did Adam let you know what he had planned? Actually, no, he left it a surprise, which was, I thought, kind of nice. Um, he didn't tell me, he just told me what I could wear, and that was pretty much it. And I was just excited about that, because nobody so, has ever taken me, given me a surprise for anything. You never even take me anywhere, so that was oh. kind of... So you were looking forward to that. Yes, so, definitely. Oh, Alina, what, definitely. what was up his sleeve? Um, actually, we went to the Japanese restaurant. It was 45 minutes away. That was enough time for us to get to know each other. So. a nice conversation. So, Adam, a main co uh, topic of conversation on the drive over? Sex. Yeah! Sex. We talked about sex. We talked about everything. Things she's done, things I've done, you know, adventures we had, things she wants to do. The only reason he's talking about that is because he lacks it in actual action. Oh, no. So that's why you talk no, about it all the time. You'll find out. You'll find out. You'll find out. Anyway, well, and, but wait a minute. Here's my, here's my question to Alina. Why did you feel so comfortable right off the bat getting into this conversation? Well, because from the beginning he told me that you could ask me anything. I'll have the answers for everything, and I felt comfortable. But I'm like, Bill, I never talk, so I know nothing you about him. You lied to him. Big secrets. All right. No, I don't lie to him. Did you tell him stories, too? No. All right, then. I like those stories. You told me stories? <laughs> <laughs> Not those kind of stories. Now, Lee. Alina, what about his willingness to divulge anything that you wanted to know? How'd that make you feel? It made me feel really comfortable because I got to know him... I felt like I knew him for a week, even though it was 45 minutes. But Bill, I know him for three and a half months. So I feel like I still don't know him. Maybe you know there's I mean? still a That's your fault, man. Maybe there's not much to him. Now, Alina, what a... Oh! Well, there's obviously not much to you. Three little roses there. Mm. Now, Alina, was there anything, though, that you discovered that you really didn't like? Because you're learning a lot about the guy. Uh, well, there was just one thing I didn't like, is that he still lives at home with his parents. Oh, oh so. lives with mommy and daddy. <laughs> See, like Bill Mama's has... boy. Oh, wow. Oh! An apartment and it's kind of independent. I like that. That was the only thing mm. I didn't like about Adam. Now, Adam, yeah, actually have you said the conversation the got really sexy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a little hesitant to ask, but was was there anything that really got you going? Yeah, on the way back from the restaurant, she uh, she got a call on her cell phone in the car and she started to speak Russian to her friend, right? And I'm like, oh my god, that was just right there. I turned on the air conditioning, but education. Uh, there's no Why turn you on <laughs> <laughs> well, Alina, what were you saying uh, to your friend? I said, uh, I said that this is like the dream day ever. Oh, really? It does sound really sexy in Russian. Take lessons. Uh, so, Adam, what did yeah, you do to keep girl that dream education. alive, man? Well, cool. we took her uh, to, uh, we went, after we went to dinner, we went down to the Santa Monica Pier and went for a walk along the pier, you know, moonlight, you know. Very romantic. On the beach. Oh, yeah. Sure. On the way back from the pier, there's this really beautiful dolphin necklace that I saw. And I, uh, I said, I gotta buy that for you. And she told me no. And I said, I don't care if you get mad. I'm gonna buy it for you anyway. And I did. Uh, now, uh, I was gonna say, is that the what you're wearing? Okay. <laughs> Too much cheese in here. Yeah, but Alina, why did you want him to not buy it? Because well, I kind of felt guilty. He bought me the rose, which Bill never buys for me. He took me to the restaurant. Bill never takes me there. He never bought me anything. You, you, you never buy me anything time. either. No, you don't. But well, Bill, look at how she's happy she is that all these little things are being done for her. Why can't you do that? Uh, basically, she's always giving me trouble. And uh, <laughs> the more she nags, the I more do she. I not nag. 
She doesn't do romantic things for me, so why would I do them for her? Now, Adam, we heard Bill say that Elena will sometimes withhold physical affection. Did you have that problem? Not at all. We were After we walked along the pier, we took a walk along the beach, and we hit a lifeguard station. So I pulled her up onto the lifeguard station. She looked... Oh, you're up on the stand? Right, and, and she just looked so good, I kissed her. Mm. My hand. Oh, that's trashy, man. That's right. And no place on her body was safe for my hands, I'll tell you that. Oh, oh, I don't know. oh man. That's tacky, man. That ain't tacky. tacky. Now, now, Adam, was that the only kissing on the are. beach? No, no, no. We were walking back from the uh, lifeguard station, and we there's another lifeguard station on the way, and I told her, hey, you know what? Now it's a tradition. <laughs> Every time we pass a lifeguard station... That is tacky, I gotta, trashy. I, I, I gotta, I gotta, you yeah, you're just, you know, because you don't have any romantic... He just wanted to get it. Yeah, now, Bill, wait a minute, though, Bill, because you're saying tacky. I think Alina's thinking romantic, so you guys are on a different wavelength there. Oh, yeah. Now, let me ask Alina, because all this kissing's going on, what's going through your mind? To be honest... Bill was on my mind when I was kissing Adam. Not throughout the whole time. He but was? The reason why, because I kind of kind of missed him, and I felt like, well, I was kissing Adam, and it was Bill, but it wasn't. But mm -hmm. that was, I have to be honest. Because she wanted that. it to be me. Okay. Now, Adam. <laughs> but it was me. Yeah! <laughs> now, Adam, what about on the car ride home? Any indication that Elena had her mind on Bill and not you? Well, let's just put it this way. I put my hand on her lap, mm -hmm. and it slowly moved up, and 15 minutes later, she was a very happy girl. <laughs> oh. yeah! Bill did with his date that kept them up together until 5 a.m. Stay tuned. Yeah. All right, we just heard what happened on Alina's date with Adam. Now we're going to hear the dish on Bill's night on the town. Bill says that Alina is a big whiny nag who lies about everything. So the gal we found says honesty is her only policy and the only wine she knows is the kind that comes with a cork. So please give it up for Teresa Hickley. So let me start with you. From what you learned on the phone, were you looking forward to your date with Bill? <laughs> no. No? Why is no. that? Well, he pretty much sounded like he was going to become, he was going to be a hokey computer nerd. Oh. He, he was telling me how he didn't dance, how he worked all the time, and he had this interesting southern accent that was just, <laughs> I was a little scared. So you're thinking, oh gosh. So what about when you finally saw him? Did you revise your opinion? Definitely. It was amazing. He came at me with these Beautiful eyes, big, gorgeous smile, which is a huge thing for me, and so I was very happy. Yeah! And what about you, Bill? Were you as pleased when you saw her? Oh, absolutely. I mean, she's got she's got the beautiful eyes, beautiful yeah! lips. Look at that body, man. That's a body right there. Hey, the big difference is, I mean, look at these clothes. She wears nice, tight, you know, good fitting clothes. Yeah! She wears grandma clothes. What? Grandma clothes. She wears grandma she just clothes. Looks easy, that's all. No. <laughs> She does not look easy. She's classy. Wait a minute, let me give Alina a fair shot here. He doesn't like your fashion sense. Anything else about Bill? Yeah, his laugh. What, what about his it's laugh? He's so gay. He laughs like Bill Clinton. Oh. <laughs> now, Teresa, one of the things that we heard was that Bill never takes Alina anywhere. I'm assuming you guys went out somewhere. Where did you go? Oh, yeah. We went to this really cute restaurant. We had great, great dinner, great conversation. We went to a bar, had a drink, went to another place. Hmm, you we went hung out till five. his apartment. That's nice. Well, <laughs> we did hang out till five in the morning. So, so they went to another place. <laughs> now, Bill, how did you fill up all this time? You guys were together for quite a while. Well, basically, uh, she was a much more mature person and able to talk to me, you know, on a, a more mature okay, level. Yeah, She's okay. uh, very immature and has to make up stories to fill the time, so I had a great time. So you find a big difference in the oh, two absolutely. women in that respect. Absolutely. Now, Teresa, one of the things that Elena said about Bill is that he never really shares intimate details about his life. Did you have that same problem? Not at all. Oh, my gosh. We... I learned everything from where he grew up, why he's into computers, about his dog, which is absolutely adorable. It's oh. ugly. And his dog. No, he opened up completely to me. So he was sharing a lot of things. Everything. Now, anything in particular, Teresa, though, that made you feel like, wow, he's really opening up? Yes. He told me what his nickname was since he was nine years old. Oh, uh, okay. I now, wait a minute. That? Alina, you said, do you know what his nickname is? No. No, you have no idea? <laughs> Teresa, share it with us all, will you? Well, this is really interesting because his nickname is MacGyver. Mm -hmm. And I... <laughs> MacGyver! No, don't laugh yet. My nickname is Lady MacGyver. 
So it's, it's one of those things where I've always been known to be able to fix anything with just whatever I have. I can make anything work. Well, the and two of you with a couple of gadgets, forget about it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, now, wait, here's what I want to know. Bill, you, you're opening up to her, but you can't with Alina, and you've been going out with her. Uh, why is that? I don't trust her. Ooh. And it's really that much. I don't trust her. That's Anything. not it. She you makes just up don't stuff. Get she... to know me. I know you. No, you don't know me. <laughs> now, Bill, besides her openness, uh, talking about your date with Teresa, could you tell that she was really getting into you? Oh, absolutely. I mean, whenever you get close to someone, you can see how they look at you, that little twinkle in their eye, the licking of the lips. Uh huh. <laughs> so you were seeing some signs. And what about you, Teresa? Anything that you weren't really digging? <laughs> okay, Bill had this horrible habit of talking about all his ex-girlfriends. So yeah! that was he a never problem. does that with me. What about I his ex-boyfriends? <laughs> yeah, so I, whether they were wholesome sweethearts or strippers, I didn't yeah! really need to know. I didn't need to know all that. That was, you never tell me anything about your ex girlfriends. Never. Now Bill Bill, we heard that Adam and Elena did a lot of kissing on the date. Uh, what about you and Teresa? I'm disappointed to say no. She gave, was giving me basically the good girl attitude, so I wasn't too sure she if she was. You didn't get the vibe that it was okay? Mm -hmm. Now Bill, what about Alina? on your first date with her, was that different? Oh yeah, she's a sexual predator. She definitely kissed <laughs> <Yeah! laughs> Sexual predator. Now, <laughs> Teresa, one of the things that Alina said, since we're on the subject of kissing and romance, is that Bill acts kind of gay. I mean, did you sense that at all? No, my God. If anything, this man exudes nothing but macho, macho man. He has this way of sitting. And it just demands space and just That's everything. You don't know him well Dominating. enough. That was only one date. Try like a month or two, you'll notice it. We will. Mm -hmm. Now, Bill, I understand also on this date you guys were hanging out, doing a lot of talking. Almost got you into like a little hot water. What was that about? Uh, well, uh, the place that we were closed at 4 o'clock. So uh, we left there and went back to the cars, uh, and uh, we were standing in the street finishing our conversation until like five o'clock. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a good talked. conversation. And uh, basically, there were six cops riding up and down the street watching us. I don't know if they were waiting on something to happen or waiting on us to like get it on in the street or what. But <laughs> when we left, they left. At the Probably same seen time, if you so. had the money yet. They didn't know oh. what was going on. <laughs> I didn't do anything to you. Based on the case, it sounds like that's your girl. Now, Teresa, tell me how you guys said goodbye finally at 5 a.m. Well, we met in our cars. Um, we both got out. He sat on the hood of my car, which was nice because I'm short, he's tall, and perfect time to go in and give him a big hug, and it felt really good, so I gave him like three more really good hugs, and mm -hmm. that was it. So he didn't cute. take him back to his car. <laughs> so cute. Now, Bill, it wasn't a whole lot of activity. So let's say you and Teresa had a second date. What would you plan? Uh, I think we would go skydiving nope. to uh, speed apartment. up the adrenaline rush and then have uh, <laughs> exhilarating sex that night. All right. Yeah. There you go. There's an option for you. Now, will Bill have that change of heart after his heart-to-heart -heart with Teresa? We're going to find out next, so stay tuned. <laughs> the show because after meeting three and a half months ago in Vegas, they feel like they're making war more often than they're making love. So should they throw down their cards or gamble on their future? Let's find out. Bill, we're going to get your decision first. Now, it's been a tough three and a half months with Alina, obviously. We sent you out with Teresa. You said you really connected. You got to know each other. You shared some things with her. What do you say? Well, going out with, uh, with uh, Teresa made me realize that I can't open up to someone. And I feel bad that I didn't you know, really give Alina... A lot of information didn't open up to her, so uh, I feel like I could uh, you know, try and open up to her and be a little bit nicer guy. So I'm going to stay together. Stay together. All right, Bill, Teresa, sorry things didn't work out for you. Now, Elena, Bill says he wants to stay together. We need to get your decision. You went out with Adam. He treated you like you wanted. He gave you gifts. You had a lot of romance that was going on. He brought you the flowers. What do you say? Well, Adam, you showed me a great time. That was the best date I've had in my entire life. And Bill, uh, three and a half months was fun, but you're not giving me a chance to get to know <laughs> to get to know me. But he's giving me the chance, so I'm gonna take the opportunity and I'm gonna have a chance. All right, Adam, that works for you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, Bill, obviously, too much fighting to make the relationship actually work. Too a little too late, I guess, Bill. But I'm sure you'll be okay in the future. Good luck. That is our show for today. Thanks to Bill and Teresa, and good luck to Alina and Adam. See you next time on Change of Heart. Thank <laughs> you.